Welcome to Center of Math's basic series on field theory. Today we're going to talk a little bit about irreducible polynomials. Uh, so first, first uh, a definition. So we're going to say a polynomial f of x in, uh, so big F is going to be our field, big F, uh, of x is the ring of uh, polynomials with coefficients in f. f of x is some polynomial in big F of x. We say little f of x is irreducible over uh, our field f if it cannot be expressed as the product of two non-constant polynomials with coefficients in f. So it's an intuitive notion, irreducible, it just means you can't reduce it. So uh, one theorem, one important theorem. Uh, so the ring of polynomials uh, over the field F uh, modulo the ideal generated by some irreducible, some polynomial F of X is, is a field if and only if F of X is irreducible in F. Uh, so one direction, if F of X is reducible, so we can say F of X equals G of X, H of X, G of X, H of X, both in uh, the, the ring of polynomials with coefficients in F, then looking at their equivalent classes in this uh, ring modulo this ideal, uh, then we have two non-zero uh, non elements which multiply to be zero mod f of x. Uh, so this implies that f of x modulo uh, polynomial f of x is not an integral domain and thus not a field. So that's one direction. So uh, now we're going to assume f of x is an irreducible polynomial. We're going to take some polynomial with g of x in uh, the field of uh, the ring of polynomials with coefficients in big F in our field f. We're going to assume g of x is not divisible by f of x, so it's not zero in our uh, quotient ring. Uh, so and these two g of x and f of x must be relatively prime. Otherwise, using the division algorithm, we can find uh, we can find polynomials n of x, m of x, and uh, the ring of polynomials such as g of x, n of x, plus f of x, m of x, equals the greatest common divisor of g of x, f of x, and that would be a polynomial with coefficients in f, which uh, divides uh, f of x, and that would contradict f of x being irreducible, so they must be relatively prime, and so uh, we must be able to find polynomials n of x, m of x, such as g of x, n of x plus f of x, m of x equals 1. Taking this thing modulo, modulo f of x, we know uh, g of x in our quotient ring times n of x in our quotient ring would be congruent to 1 uh, modulo f of x. Uh, and so g of x in our quotient ring has an inverse, and so we see for an element in our quotient ring that is not equal to 0, it has an inverse, and so this quotient ring is in fact a field. So one more theorem, we have given an irreducible polynomial f of x with uh, coefficients in our field f. And the root a of f of x, uh, we have that our quotient ring, quotient ring f of x mod f, little f of x is isomorphic to f with uh, this root a appended to it. So it's a, isomorphic to the smallest field containing f and a, our element a. So uh, 
uh, for our proof, we can think of f with a attached as just the ring with a attached. So it's all the powers of a over with coefficients added that multiplied together. And so we're going to think of the ring homomorphism uh, theta, sending a member of our polynomial ring with uh, coefficients in f to our ring uh, with f and a append. And it's going to be given by theta of a polynomial. You just plug in a in that polynomial and then uh, calculate the value of f of a. Uh, so for so this map, we're going to look at its kernel. So this kernel is the fact we know f of x, uh, f of a equals zero, and any multiple of f of a equals zero, and that by using the division algorithm arguments, you can show the kernel is in fact the ideal generated by f of x. And so by the fundamental homomorphor, homomorphism theorem, we have uh, big F, the polynomial ring with indeterminate x modulo f, f of x is in fact isomorphic to uh, our ring, which we, we now know is a field f with a appended. Uh, thanks for watching. Please check out centermap.org. Uh, check out our blog and follow, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.